Welcome back to American Agenda. Okay, I love musical references. So today on The Other View, we're going to invoke a David Bowie classic to begin and turn and face the strange with some cha-cha-cha changes. You know the song. And this as the children of some divorced Hollywood stars are changing their genders. Serafina Rose, the 15-year-old middle daughter of A-listers Ben Affleck and Jennifer Garner, recently taking the stage at her grandfather's funeral, not just to give a memorial, but to debut a new name and a new look. It's now Finn, not Serafina. Also a buzz cut look and a suit. Now this comes after, stay with me here, her stepsister, the daughter of Jennifer Lopez, Ben's current wife, came out as non-binary and she is 16 and the stepsisters are close. Let's bring in Project 21 member Don Marie Borsico and Jesse Tate, member of Restore Liberty, to share their takes. All right, welcome to both of you. Don Marie, both of these girls or boys or whatever they choose to be are teenagers, 15 and 16. Now, uh, Affleck's daughter, Finn, at least hasn't received any gender transition surgeries that we're aware of. She's just changed her name and her physical appearance. But as a mother, how would you react? I'm just speechless. I'm just so glad I raised children, you know, before this decade because it's, abs it's an absolute mess right now. You know, ultimately, I think there was a new study that recently came out over in Europe that basically said that teenagers typically grow out of this mindset. They grow out of this behavior. It's a phase that people go through. And it's just a sad place in our society that how far we've come from morality, basic truths that we are, even parents are allowing their children to go down this particular era that we're celebrating areas of mental illness. We're celebrating areas that we we just know that children grow out of. I mean, my mom was a tomboy. That's not what she stayed. So we just, it's just a sad place where we are in our society right now. Yeah, to your point, Don Marie, I mean, I think, listen, when, when I was a, a kid, all I wanted to do was not wear skirts and wear extra, extra large men's clothes because I thought it was a cool look. I didn't even dye my hair purple or pierce my nose, but that's what kids, I'll say, used to do when they were rebelling or following a trend. But, Jesse, do you think this is, I'll say, this generation's version of a rebellion or a trend or is it something else? And what do you think about the way that Finn decided to debut the new name? So first off, I don't think that it's a trend. Uh, I don't think it's something that they're doing to be trendy. Like I wore the baggy jeans, right? Like I, I did all that too. Um, this is something different. This is something that I think really affects the, the you know, the, the deep, you know, emotional scars that people have. And first off, um, she did it at a funeral, something that's supposed to be there to honor, I think it was Jennifer's father's, uh, his life. And this is when this person chooses to come out and, you know, display and bring on the topic of, you know, sexuality and children. And I thought that that was very inappropriate and, and not at all a good tribute to one's life. Yeah, you know, I, I'm, I'm okay with changing the way you dress or the way you look, but I just hope that there is no type of puberty blockers or anything like that on the horizon, at least until any child is a an adult. And so let's transition, that pun is intended, to the 86-year-old word game Scrabble. It's even older than our president. Mattel announcing a new inclusive version of the game, yeah, inclusive Scrabble, for anyone who finds word games intimidating. Hmm. The company says players can still choose to enjoy the classic game, but now they can literally flip those little tiles to the other side for the newer and easier version called Scrabble Together. You don't need big words to score big points, the box says. This version omits scoring and you can play as a team. Sounds a lot like our education system these days, Don Marie. What do you think? A dumbing down of society or is it fair Absolutely. to have inclusive no. Scrabble? It's not even up for discussion. I'm sorry. <laughs> I sit across from people every day and I ask them, what's your occupation? And these young people look at me in my face and say, what does that mean? Oh, that wow. is, this is retarded. I mean, I mean I'm, I'm just disgusted with this. I grew up on Scrabble. I love Scrabble. It's a challenging game. What happened to grit? This is why people today, young people do not understand what grit is. We keep dumbing down things, making things convenient for them. Right. If you don't want to play the regular game, then don't play it. Either grow up, uh, grow up, increase your vocabulary, and let's change. This is a great way 
to, to grow and to do it in yeah, a fun, family manner. Yeah, good point. Jesse, we're out of time, but we are going to get you back. Dom Marie Borsico, Jesse Tate, great to have you both as always.